Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where it is another Taskmaster Tuesday, and this one is Spartan Elite 43's idea. So, uh, combat trials. We've received intelligence that our enemy has been building mass quantities of torpedo boats. They certainly have. They have 99, and we must build a battleship capable of fending off this swarm tactic. Uh, we can choose any country we like. Uh, it's a 1905 battleship, uh, and we get one point per torpedo boat sunk, um, and if we sink all of them, then it's uh, the fastest. Now, there is a twist. Uh, the twist is, um, once you encounter the enemy, you must turn full broadside, although I think that's going to be tricky to actually pull off, because they're going to be swarming around us. But anyway, and you must come to a complete stop. So... Spain, it's not about dodging, it's about shooting them. Now, I picked Spain because they get access to this, the 29,000 ton Dreadnought 1. And given that maneuverability and speed is not important, I'm going to max beam, max draft the ship. Uh, I don't need range, I don't need speed. They can go. Um, standard crew is probably going to be fine. Might as well have a super veteran crew. Now, for me, rate of fire is going to be the most important thing. Uh, oh, they're not in order. Look at that. Reinforced 4 is here, not here. Interesting. Anyway, so we'll go with that tower, because I want all the base accuracy I can get. Mm, yeah, that's one. Uh, we need a funnel. There we go. Um, hmm. The game sounds are a bit loud. Excuse me. I'm just going to turn those down a bit. Uh, they're just a bit loud in my headphones. Um, so, gun wise, obviously, we have to have some main guns. So I'm going to make those nine inches, and we can get dual barreled nine inches as well. Um, it's a smaller barbette that they would fit on. I mean, it'd be ideal if they would fit on that one, but I don't think they do. And uh, I'll have to go for this one. Gonna go for a. Well, basically as much as I can fit on. Oh, I can't fit any more barbettes. Hmm. Well. Oh, I can't fit any more main guns either. Of course, it's so early that you can't fit them on. Hmm. In that case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put all the nine inches up front. Then we're going to get casement guns, and I think the. I just need to score hits. They don't have any armor. Um, so I'm going to go for whatever the smallest casements are threes. So a whole pile of three inch casements. And then we're gonna want secondary guns. What I'm really looking at here is accuracy. Mm. Seven inch, no, six inch I think is where we get a little peak. The, the two inch guns are very accurate at point point blank, but the six inch with that 12% at two and a half thousand meters and four inch percent at 5,000. I think that's a good mix. So that's the same accuracy as the seven and eights at 5,000 meters and superior accuracy at two and a half thousand meters to everything smaller. So six inch guns, I think will 
will work and I just want as many of those uh, as I can get away with. Cheating uh, to have it over the side like that. I don't, wouldn't normally do that, but screw it. Uh, yeah, what weight offset? I don't really care that much that I've got a bit of a forward weight offset. Um, it's not going to matter too much. Um, I'm not sure there's much point improving these. Uh, it does reduce my engine damage chance a little bit if I go for the multiple expansion. See, this has minus 7.5, this has minus 25% engine damage chance, and so does this. Um, they also reduce engine weight. Uh, there's no cost limit, so yeah, I'm going to go for that one multiple expansion too. I am going to bring an auxiliary petrol for the extra pumping. Uh, steering doesn't matter. Rudder I'm going to go balance because it gives you an engine weight reduction. Uh, go with crook 2. Flash protection, torpedo protection, double bottom hull, underwater protected deck, anti-flooding systems, reinforced bulkheads. Um, Poisonous rangefinder. Advanced radio for the aiming speed buff. Uh, best reload I can get. Best turrets I can get. Uh, max HE. We, we don't care about pen. Um, so yeah, nose fused shells and semi ballistic. Um, or semi armor piercing shells, not semi ballistics. Uh, we'll go for big shells so they do lots of damage when they hit. Uh, or. Hmm, actually, no. I'm going to go with light shells. I don't really care about doing lots of damage on a hit. What I care about is getting hits. So, improved accuracy, reduced reload time, um, better angles, uh, less ammo detonation chance. Yeah, I think I think I'm going to go for that. I'm going to go for extra shells. Propellant wise. Uh, they're much of a muchness, aren't they? The white powder's a bit safer, though. We'll stick with that. And probably Pickrick. Well. Pickrick 1. Why not? It's got the biggest HE damage, 65 and 50. This is 37.5 and 35. It has better shell fire chance. It just has crap penetration. Um, and again, they, they, they don't get armor. <laughs> um, Curious, can I get? Oh, I can. Hmm. Will that fit a six inch gun? It will. Okay. I want to see if I can increase my firepower density at all. No, that's it. But I might be able to fit another gun on. There we go.
I don't really need much in the way of armor. I think the biggest gun, a uh, torpedo boat can mount is a four inch. Um, but I don't really don't want to be taking damage from guns at all. So, you know, with, you know, what happens if they had a cat ballistic shell? What are we talking about? 13 point, we call it 14 inches of pen. What's her armor quality? 100%. Seven inch belts should be what, nine. Could call it nine. That should be plenty. Make sure I change that back. Um, deck hits. I seriously doubt I'm going to take any deck hits. But a four inch unitary deck should be fine. Uh, nine inch on the superstructure. Sure, what, whatever. 13, 14 inches on the tower. Um, inner belt. Let's go four and a half. Two, that should prevent most things. Yeah, 11.8 is fine. Top harbour, I don't know, four. Six inch guns, I'd like them to be a little bit more armoured if I can. In fact, I've got loads of weight left, I might as well armor the ship up as much as I can. Uh, now, gun links. Um, these already have an amazing rate of fire. So I know it's gonna mess with my, my arrangement. I should have done this first. Uh, I want long guns. Oh shit. Don't do that game. Come on. Go okay, make everything longer. Three rounds a minute, they've still got a good rate of fire, and oh, am I gonna lose a six inch gun from doing that? Hopefully not. Mm, yeah, that's pretty much as tucked in as it's gonna get. God damn it. Hmm. Maybe if I shorten the sixes just long enough to get another gun in, I can get away with it. That's getting there. So we've got the long the long nines for uh, you know super hopefully accurate fire and then we've got the six inches which have still got a pretty good rate of fire 4.6 rounds a minute kind of th just throwing out uh, tons of shells everywhere uh, I'm still underweight um, I mean, what else, what else could we get? <laughs> uh, more armor? I mean, let's go for an 18 inch main, main belt, 8 inch main deck, there we go. Uh, and a 20 inch conning tower. <laughs> uh, inner belt, 9. There you go. Inner deck, 4. Now, 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 finally using up the weight. I might as well. Because uh, I don't want to take a bunch of partial pens and, and lose lose accuracy because of that. No, it's not balanced, but I don't care. <laughs> it's a DACA boat. 
Well, let's hope the deck of boat um, survives. But uh, strap yourselves in. This is going to be uh, this is going to be interesting. So as soon as I spot the enemy, I have to turn broadside and come to a full stop. Fair enough, and I'm not allowed to issue any more orders after that. So I suspect what is going to happen is I'm just going to get completely splatted within moments. Uh, my luck with torpedoes is very poor, but at least I can give it a go. <laughs> And a somewhat interesting vessel. Oh my god, the slowdown. <laughs> oh, the enemy's to the north anyway, so I'm probably already broadside. Just waiting for them to show up. the weather like. Uh, not too bad actually. That's good for me. Whatever it is they're crashing and crunching around back there. And down to a size 5 already. Still no sign of them. They've seen me though. I'm a large target. Just happily bumbling along like there's nothing wrong, having a care in the world. There we go, enemy in sight. Okay. As per the rules, all stop. And I'm already broadside on, so that's fine. Ranging shots. Any hits? Yeah, no. <laughs> no hope. Oh, yes! Amazing. Six inch gun, one hit, half belt. Splat. Okay, that is a good sign. Splash one. <laughs> They're fast little shits. Oh. Splash two. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh my goodness. Whoa, that's three. And we are at full stop now. Come on, give me a hit.
火。That's a three inch gun. Five. Seven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. <laughs> Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Should actually have a look at these things, shouldn't I? Uh, Thirty knots. Yeah, four point three inch guns. Two torpedoes, as in two launches or two a uh, single launcher with a reload. Okay. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Fifth of the way there. Twenty-one. Where's the rest of you? Expected problem. According to the rules, I'm not allowed to uh, do anything or go anywhere. Oh, there we go. Very nice. 22. And it all goes quiet again. Come 
come on. I was expecting a massive swarm and fire on both sides and all this stuff. Where have you all gone? How much damage have we taken? A little bit. Uh, yes, yeah, some partial penetrations. him. Very short range on these torpedoes. Oh, here comes another wave of them. Good. 24. Six. Twenty-seven. Ah, this is more like it. Twenty-eight. Seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty. <laughs> forty six, forty seven, forty eight. Nine fifty, we're halfway.
51. 52. Six seventy seven. Eighty. 
81, 82. <laughs> Are we still alive? Sink, you bastard. Stocks are still good. No, not so much on the two inch, but I don't have as many of those. They're just the ones up in the tower. 88. One thing I am noticing, though, is the AI is stubbornly refusing to get into torpedo range. Um, I think that's simply because uh, it doesn't want to get too close to. I mean, they can only they have a nine hundred meter range, right? So at nine hundred meters, eighty nine, um, I've got a pretty much hundred percent chance to hit. So the AI is trying to stay away. Ninety. They're trying to use their four inch guns, but yeah, the four inch guns aren't doing very much. Now I'm up to 90, and I see eight ships remaining. So either one is hiding, or I miscounted. <laughs> but they're also not firing their four inch, they're just waiting to get splatted 91 and my accuracy is not exactly great <laughs> but you know if I can get a hit so this is 92 93 94 95 96, yeah I'm missing one that was 92 I think by my count Nine 
93. Like, what's your plan here? Get shot. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's not a good plan. Oh dearie me. I wonder what your shells have done the most damage. Oh jeez. Those six inch guns, they're doing absolute outstanding work. Down goes another one, so that's what, ninety four? Ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight, yeah, and then um I have miscounted. Well, there's one that I haven't seen. Yep. So we're up to 95 now, I think. I saw the 95 or 96, one of the two. Another one. So I make this one that ninety six. Maybe it was ninety seven. I have to kill these two before I can find out if there is another one. Um, but looking up at the top here, once that one actually goes under the waves, I've seen three being reported up the top. So maybe I have been counting them right. Seven. Um, what, what, I don't get that, what the AI is thinking here with that. Because they're not in range to shoot me. They can see me. It's just like they're just sitting there waiting for me to pick them off. I am finally starting to run low on shells. Mainly for the 9 inch guns, but just in general. Glad I went with extra shells. Very nice hit. Come on, just adjust a little bit. You're leading the target too much. There! Oh, that was 99. Uh, 7.35 uh, time running on the clock 9 I must have miscounted 99 torpedo boats yes good <laughs> goodbye torpedo boats oh my goodness <laughs> oh jeez jeez um, yeah uh, <laughs> a totally normal 800 and 39,000 damage dealt out by the Dacker boat. Um, most of which, well, not most, but a lot, the, the biggest one was the six inch guns, then the nine inch guns, then the three inch guns. But 
all three weapon systems dealing out absolutely insane amounts of damage. That's what happens when you can't have armor. Well, I hope you <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that one uh, and listening to me count to uh, ninety nine. Um, but there we go, ninety nine points. And 7.35 left on the clock. Go and check out the other Admirals. See how they did. Stealth 17 and Spot Leap 43 who came up with the challenge. Links to their videos down in the description below. And I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.